Online Marketing Lessons, Never Try to Please Everyone I don't know about you, but pleasing everyone has always been a goal of mine. You see, I'm a people pleaser. I want to make everyone happy. I'm the guy always asking, can't we all just get along? Well, this personality has caused me much pain in my growth as an internet marketer, I can still remember the first hate email I received to this very day. It was 18 months ago, and a subscriber to my email marketing list posted this reply, you haven't made any money yet if you are selling someone else's program. You are a fraud. I wish I knew where you lived, I would come over to your house now and kick your a asterisk asterisk. Obviously, with my people-pleaser personality, this really threw me for a loop. I replied back to this subscriber and apologized for offending him. I explained that I was in fact promoting a training course as an affiliate and was not trying to hide that fact. If he would have taken the time to actually read the email he was responding to he would have known this as I put it in writing in that exact email but he sent back a reply and you guessed it, much more of the same bashing and hate blasted in my direction. After some time I realized there are just some people in the world you will never be able to please. Read on below to discover what my next 18 months in this business has taught me about trying to please everyone, I cannot give you the formula for success, but I can give you the formula for failure, which is, try to please everybody Herbert Bayard S. Such are the words that you hear from many other gurus and motivational speakers quotes. One should not try to please everyone when doing business, because haters will always hate and there's really nothing much you can do about it. As an internet marketer it is important for one to understand why it is never a good thing to try and please everyone. Instead, you should try your best to only sell and market to people who will appreciate you and your products. Online marketing fact number one, you cannot please everybody. The main reason why as a business person you should not try to please everyone is because you cannot hope to please everybody. Everyone is unique and everyone thinks differently. This is the reason why when you go to YouTube, you will rarely find any video that will has no negative comments. This happens in almost every single video that allows ratings to. If you've been onto Facebook or Pinterest or any other similar social websites, you will almost always see bad seeds trying to create trouble with your post even when your post is seemingly loved by the majority. There will always be haters and there's not much you can do about it. No matter how you try to reason with these people they will not listen and things will only go from bad to worse. Trying to reason or argue with these problematic people is a waste of your time and energy. What you should do is state your point and clearly as possible so that bystanders or onlookers can see where you are coming from and leave it as it is. There is no point to keep the conversation going further. If there is a need to refund the person their money, just do it promptly and be rid of this problem. Always be sure to prove your point in a professional manner, so be sure not to lose your temper and start using bad language. Handling these problematic people should be done as a professional manner so that other people will respect you. Online marketing fact number two, it's not necessary to please everybody. For your business to do well and make a lot of money and profit, it is not necessary to please absolutely everyone. You can be trying to sell to just a small group of people on the internet and still make a lot of money and be wildly successful. For example, if you are trying to teach how to lose weight using a good self-discipline technique, you should never try to sell it to those who believe in exercising to lose weight or to those who believe in losing weight using supplements. Trying to sell to people who have a completely different set of mindset is very hard. So you should just leave them be and focus your energy on those who will believe in you and try out your product. People who believe in you are the ones who will give your product an honest try and this is where you can get results to show for your products. As you may have guessed those who do not want your product will never use your product anyway even if they manage to grab a copy of your product. Learn to identify your target market well and understand your target market. Note that even within your small targeted group of market, you might still encounter troublemakers. As usual, you should just ignore them and move on. Losing one business will not kill your business if you are not doing anything fundamentally wrong. If you stop and just try hard to sell to these people, you are just wasting your time and it will just mess you up emotionally. The best thing you can do is just to tell them that you do not want their money. This is the same case as when you are in the development phase of your product. 
you should try your best to just develop your product as best as you can. In the end of the day, if the majority of the people who bought from you are happy, then you are doing the right things. Listen to what those unhappy comments are. If it makes sense, then add them into your future product updates. If it is not reasonable or if the unhappy customer is asking or too much, just apologize for them and tell them that whatever you are selling at the moment is not what they are looking for. Another way to help reduce unhappy customers is to make sure that you are under promising in your marketing messages and then over deliver later. Never try to over promise in your sales message because that will surely get people to dislike your product. Online marketing fact number three, rejection will not ruin your life. Learn to reject bad customers sometimes. Customers not always right, however, be sure to reject them with a smile. It's not a fun or enjoyable thing to do, but your life will surely be better if you do not have to worry over the problems that arise with troublesome customers. Rejections will not ruin your life, especially if you choose not to let it ruin your life. You need to accept that you can't please everybody and move on. Focus your business on service those who deserve your attention and bring a smile to their face. They will reward you with not only their money, but their trust and their great testimonials as well. These are the people who will make you rich, and these are the people who will bring you even more nice customers who will put money into your wallet willingly. Hence, from this day forwards, learn to reject people who are too troublesome to work with and understand that you absolutely do not have to please everyone because you can't. Thank you.